Hello and welcome to the Mastering TypeScript video course by Pact Publishing. My name is David Sherritt, and I'm going to go along with you on this course. A bit about me. My main work is in the healthcare industry writing software for specialty pharmaceuticals. In that, there's a lot I do, from writing software to manage the logistics behind those drugs, to creating statistics on patients, to writing software to cut down on health insurance fraud. I've been programming for almost 15 years now, and you can mostly find me answering questions on the TypeScript tag on Stack Overflow. This is an advanced course on the TypeScript language. It's intended for developers who already have a basic grasp of the language and want to attain a deeper understanding of it. In this video, we're going to give an overview of the course. We'll talk about its structure, prerequisites, and goals. In the first section that we're currently in, We'll briefly take a look at the sample application we're going to work with for the rest of the course. In section 2, we'll start diving into the details about TypeScript's type system. We'll look at considerations we had when first writing the code in TypeScript, and look at tools we can use to improve the TypeScript code we write. In section 3, we'll talk about moving some ES5 JavaScript code to ES6 classes in TypeScript, as well as some details and tips on using classes. In section 4, we'll look at ways of interacting with TypeScript's type system. In section 5, we'll discuss representing JavaScript libraries in TypeScript. Specifically, it will be a section on TypeScript definition files, and we'll also look at how we can easily manage definition files in the applications we write. In section 6, we'll talk about some TypeScript language features we can take advantage of to write better code. In section 7, we'll look at some advanced ES6 and ES7 features like generators, async and await, and decorators. Finally, in section 8, we'll talk about ways we can create static typing between a client and server in a client server application, and at a way we can write our view code with static typing. So, from this overview, you can see it's not a beginner course. It's expected you already have a basic understanding of concepts from TypeScript such as types, interfaces, classes, inheritance, and generics. It's also expected that you have a basic understanding of JavaScript. I'll explain the lesser known parts of the language, but I won't explain a lot of the basics. However, if there's something you don't understand, you will always be able to pause the video and research the part you're unfamiliar with online. Additionally, it's nice to have a basic understanding of Node.js, Node Package Manager, and Bower but it's not necessary. You'll get through the course fine if you're not familiar with them. Overall, the main goal of this course is not just that you develop a better understanding of TypeScript, but that you come away writing better TypeScript code using newer features of the language. Come with me as we move towards understanding more of the TypeScript language in this video course on Mastering TypeScript.